I was driving down the road. I saw this gentleman, Ray Brown. He's uh, trekking across America, and I had to get his story. So t tell me your story, buddy. Okay. My story is I just retired after 36 years of teaching in the public schools at the middle school level, American history and government. And I love the subject, and I love middle schoolers. I know a lot of people have issues with them. But I've been doing it my whole <laughs> life, and I've always related to the Lewis and Clark thing and the westward wagons and all that. And so I wondered, and I always wondered if I could physically walk across the United States. And so I just retired last June, and I'm taking that challenge. Uh, when you get into something like this, you find that there are other people that are doing this also. And most people that do this have a secondary cause. And mine happens to be uh, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I'm a civil libertarian, and I believe very deeply in the Constitution and our civil liberties. And I became activated about six years ago when I thought we were throwing the baby out with the bathwater in the name of uh, fighting the war on terrorism and all these things. And so, um, so I've taken this challenge to walk across the United States, and I carry with me copies of the Bill of Rights. I pass these out along the way. I've been doing this for the last six years, and I've given away over 5,000 of these things. Nice. So where and did you start at? I started in Florence, Oregon, and my last year students, uh, about 75 of them, Eugene, Oregon, where I work and live, is only an hour from the coast. So we all rode the school bus over, and they walked the first three miles from the beach, and then they got onto the school bus, and they continued back. And then Did I any continued. parents have any problems with that, with, oh, no. with your agenda that you got going? Oh, no, 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 no. The nice thing about what I'm doing, and here really is what it's about, is you can be left or right, up or down, red state, blue state. It really doesn't matter, because the things I talk about are not politics. I'm talking about the ideals and the principles that join us together no matter what your politics are. I mean, if it, we're not about hot dogs and baseball and Chevrolet. Those are all nice things, but that isn't what our country is about. Our country is about the ideals and principles that are set forth, I would say, in the, uh, the Declaration of Independence, the preamble to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and I would even throw in Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. And that's government of the people, by the people, for the people. And it all boils down, no matter which document you look at, it's, it's called people sovereignty. And what that means is the government is the servant of the people. And I don't know, as we go into these modern times, whether those things are still, um, still hold true. And I think the first thing is to be aware of our civil liberties. Because if you have a lot of treasures in your house and I come and visit you, and you have no idea of what you have, and I load my pockets and leave, well, you don't even know I've stolen anything. And so I think people need to be aware of what our civil liberties are. And freedoms are lost one hair at a time. Like being a kid in school, somebody pulls one hair out, and you just sort of barely feel it, and like, ouch, what was that? And you go back to sleep. And then that becomes the new norm. And yet, if somebody were to take a whole handful of hair at one time and yank, well, you'd fight for that. Yep. And so my concern is, is that, you know, we, we put cameras in, in intersections, and uh, they're sometimes good. We find some kidnapper who grabbed a kid, and it's on tape. But where's the conversation? Yep. Where, where do people say, here's this technology, and do we want it or do we not? And so what happens is these things are created, and like the Fourth Amendment, our whole privacy thing. Uh, it still stands. It's still there. Do we honor it or do we not? And just because we have technology that makes it easy, easy doesn't make it right. And so we need to have a much better discussion than, than what our new service affords us. I mean, they're supposed to be the watchdogs of tyranny and all that, and those are like old-fashioned words, but those meanings still hold true today. And so I'm walking across the United States and uh, talking to people, and everybody has been very, very positive, and that has been uh, something that has uh, softened me a little bit, really, the uh, support, and because it doesn't, again, not to go full circle with it, but it doesn't matter what your politics are. You can be extreme right, extreme left. Most of us are somewhere in the middle there in that wobble zone, but uh, everybody can relate to this. So that's what that's all about. So, right on, man. Where's your final destination? Uh, I hope to go through Philadelphia and Atlantic City. So I've got a little vial of ocean water in here that I collected with the kids on the beach. And I have another one that's empty. And when I get to the Atlantic, I'm going to put some in there. So I'll have like 
the whole sea to shining sea you, thing going. You on. get to see which one is more polluted. <laughs> yeah, I'm, glad, I'm glad I'm not going to. <laughs> You're the going Gulf. to Atlantic City. No, Come I'm on. I'm going to New Orleans right now, <laughs> or Mobile, Alabama. You know. So. so when do you expect to be there? Well, I hope to be done in uh, the end of December or early January. The big thing was convincing my wife when I first brought this up, you know, oh, wow. in tears, and it's like you only think of yourself and stuff. But she, I'm retired now, just experiencing this, and she's still working, so she relented, and I better be back by then. Is there anything that we can track your progress with online or oh, anything? Oh, yes, very much so. Thank you for asking. I actually am keeping a blog that has become quite popular as I've gone across. A lot of people are following it, and I, as I get to motels, I will, you know, add little blog posts things like that. So uh, it is at sonoflibertywalk.blogspot.com. That's Son of Liberty Walk. That's just like it sounds. S-O-N-O-F-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y-W-A-L-K <laughs> dot B-L-O-G-S-P-O-T dot C-O-M. Yeah, and you'll get it. The Wyoming heat almost got you That's there. That's it. almost <laughs> got me. That's it. That's all I got to say. All right, man. Well, good luck with your well, trek, man, and, we, and we'll and we'll keep well, up with your well, progress. Wait a minute, don't run. I gotta give you a card now. After oh, we gotta make it happen. All right, we're taking off.